In this video, we will look at a couple of examples to practice thinking about the basic graph types. In example A, it asks, which of the following graphs represents discrete data? Which represents continuous data? So discrete data versus continuous data. Discrete data will always be individual points that are not connected because connecting points implies that the change is continuous between point to point. Continuous data will always be connected with lines. So if we look at our first graph here, we can see we just have individual points. So that means this graph is discrete data. Whereas if we look at this next graph, we see that our specific points have been connected with lines. So this is continuous data. In example B, it says, which of the following graphs represent categorical or qualitative data, which represent numerical or quantitative data? So the first one we have is a pie chart, and a pie chart is always qualitative data. The next chart that we have is a bar graph. And remember, we can tell it's a bar graph because the bars are not connected. We have these empty spots in between. And a bar graph is always for qualitative data. You might be confused because it says one, two, three, and four at the bottom, which are numbers. But in this case, because it's a bar graph, the numbers are probably just different categories. A number could be a category as well as a quantitative data type thing. So you should more focus on the fact that it's a bar graph, which means it must be qualitative. All right, and looking at the next couple, we have a line graph, which is definitely quantitative data always. We also have a histogram and frequency polygon over it which are also always quantitative data. Also, it's continuous. And the last one is a stem and leaf plot, which is also quantitative data. The actual data is numbers, 25, 28, 34, 35, et cetera. So that's quantitative data. All right, let's look at example C. Does the following graph represent categorical or numerical data? Is the data discrete or continuous? So this is a box and whisker plot, and box and whisker plots are always for quantitative data. You need quantitative data in order to be able to figure out a minimum, a maximum, a median, all those things that are numbers. And that's exactly what we see in a box and whisker plot. Now, what about is it discrete or continuous? Box and whisker plot data is always discrete because it's always discrete separate data points that are not connected in a continuous way. So box and whisker plots are always discrete data and always quantitative data.